What is up? It is your boy Airsoft Fatty here, sitting in the parking lot of Meyer. Um, just did some thinking, and I want to pitch a motivational speech to you guys about weight loss. And I figure, screw it, I'm sitting here stuck, waiting for my mother and her friend to get to shopping. And I just got out of the hospital from the infection. And for those of you who want an update, well, it's just a fungus infection. It's on my, you know, down there area, but that's it. That's all you need to know. So let's begin. You know, I wasn't always this fat. I wasn't always this chub this you know this I wasn't always this I used to be the top of my class fastest runner did the most push-ups could one thing I couldn't do was climb a rope I lost my ability to do all of that but I can't blame everyone else from my problem it's on me and I know what I gotta do so for those of you out here who are struggling to lose the weight to find your little bit of happiness in life please don't be scared don't not seek out help because that's the stupidest thing you can do I'm currently in the in the process of getting a stomach surgery, which will help me lose weight. I'm telling you, don't be stubborn. Just do it. Get the surgery if it's going to help you. Because I have been doing this for years. For almost eight years now, I have been working out to lose this weight. Because I don't want this. I don't want to look like a girl. I don't want to, you know, I don't want my sexual preference to be based on the way I look because of my weight. And I do. I look like an obese young lady. And it's fucking disgusting when, you know, you can't even be called out by your right gender. I am a boy. I have a penis. I was born a boy. I'm tired of my voice. It sounds stupid. I hate my voice. I've grown to hate every last inch of me. And just this past year alone. But there's something I do love. And it's the fact that when I set my mind to do something, I fucking do it. And I did it. You know, I graduated. So now I have to spend my time losing weight for the next couple, maybe next year or two. Fight to lose the weight, get myself healthy, and get back into college. Well, not back into college, but get back into schooling. You know, go to college. Make myself something. Because you can't, you can't make yourself into something by just sitting there all day doing nothing. You have to do something. You can't expect everything like I used to to just fall in your fucking lap. I grew up with a rich dad when he was alive. Owned his own drywall company here in Battle Creek, Michigan. LaFon's Drywall. Maybe you heard of it if you've been through him. He made a lot of money and I expected shit to just fall in my lap. And it did for the longest time. For almost nine straight years, everything fell in my lap. You know, I got a Game Boy when uh, I was like three. I wanted a Game Boy, and I got a Game Boy with Pokemon Fire Red and Blue for, you know, my first games. And Batman, the first three games. And those were my first game system ever. Game Boy. I'll never forget that Game Boy. It was the gray with the pinkish red buttons and the... Start and then the, the D pad. It was a fucking Game Boy. And it was the best thing I had. But you know what's one thing that I'll treasure even more? My fucking fans here on YouTube. Because you guys didn't just fall in my lap. All 380 something of you guys that are so far on this as of today, it's. I didn't just have you guys fall in my lap. You guys sat there and you guys follow me 
Because for some reason, you like me. And I'm happy that there's someone out there that likes me. Because I sure as hell don't like myself right now. But don't worry. Because there is hope. And where there's darkness, there's light. <laughs>